Welcome to the Childish Music Festival app. So I'm going to be talking about how the design meets the goals of the personas and users spoken about in a previous post. So when they open the website, it comes onto this landing page here where there's just a little illustration which uses the colours of the colour palette which will be seen throughout all the designs. There's also the logo here, the dates of the festival and a countdown as well which will hopefully help the users feel a bit more excited. Going on to the next page, we have cookies. So a lot of websites these days offer the option to manage your cookies or accept them all depending on what the user wants to share about their data and what they don't. So if you just click accept all and then we have home page here. So you have the menu, the logo, the dates, the location of the festival, basket profile, search, and also we've got the buy tickets, view schedule, and social media icons here. So if we go into menu, the menu is a little bit different compared to the companion app due to them both having different contents in. So we'll start with the website menu. So we've got tickets, accommodation, get in here, information, gallery, my account, updates, and contact us. So we'll go straight to tickets and it brings you this page here where you have three different options. So we have Friday tickets, Saturday tickets, and Sunday tickets. They also have a little back to tickets here as well. So the user's not going back to the menu to go through all the pages again. So these are the different types of tickets and the user can change the quantity just down here. So if they didn't want to have that ticket, they can just click take it off. Or if they wanted to add more, they just click the plus sign. So then it brings us to basket and it's the same layout as the tickets as well but it just shows what tickets they've added to their basket and again they have the quantity control here where they can remove some of the tickets or add them on without having to go back through the ticket screens again so at the bottom here we have the different payment methods that the website accepts which is really useful so when the user comes to the checkout they know the different methods of payment they can choose going to checkout the user inputs their email address here. If they're already signed in, it'll automatically input their billing address. So it saves them that extra step. And there's a discount code option here, which I'll come to later on. Um, the order details here is just a breakdown and then the total, and then they have the payment methods. So having third party payment methods is actually really beneficial because it gives the user different options to pay by. So for example, with PayPal and Klarna, you can split the cost over three and it basically reduces the abandonment in when it comes to the checkout because it's just a lot easier for people to pay with because they have those different options. Moving on to accommodation, we have camping where the user can purchase the camping pass and stay on the campsite for the two nights. There's also other accommodation recommendations. So they are all hotels within a very close proximity of the festival. It also has the rough prices per night and who they're ideal for. So for example, Premier Inn's ideal for couples and Airbnb ideal for large parties which gives them more of an insight into what they should book. There's also a get in here travel page. So the festival offers a shuttle bus service, which runs during the festival. So this will be found on the app as well. So we have the time schedules of when they're going to be arriving to and from York City Centre and the festival as well. The user has the option to buy the tickets now as opposed to buying them whilst they're at the festival. We have a car option as well, so we're just offering recommendations of how we would get there and offering Google Maps link as well if they want to search it that way. And also we have free parking on the site as well. If the user is wanting to travel by train, we've added on the train line link as well, so it'll take them straight to booking their tickets. And we've got information, it's made up of six different components. So we have general, which is made up of collapsible menus like this. We have jobs, which is submitted as a form. So the user just needs to input their in name, email, the subject, message, and they attach their 
CV there, the submit application, get positive feedback that it has been sent to us. And then we have accessibility. So there's website accessibility here where the user can change the color of the headings, text and background. Same with the font spacing, font sizing, sorry, and navigation adjustment. And they have the festival actual grounds accessibility information here as well with drop down paragraphs. Same with care and safety, they have the same drop down paragraphs and terms and conditions and private policy just look like that. And then we have gallery as well. So this is just full of images of previous year festival images. So we have 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2021. Hopefully this will invoke more excitement in the user and kind of feel a sense of that they're there when looking at these pictures. Um, my account, so this is a login page. This is a really common design seen throughout all websites usually. So we've just got the email address, password, they can choose if they want to see the password, if they want to keep it uh, not exposed. Um, there's also forgot my password option as well. So if you just click on that, it's not sending me back to positive feedback. So we have the option to keep signing in as well and then sign in and then you have the option to sign in with Google and Apple as well which is quite common nowadays. It just means that the user doesn't have to re-input all the details when they have a system that already has all the details on for it. It means they don't have to create a new login, you know, there's less chance of errors being made on the logins and the details by offering to sign up that way and it's the same with the create account as well so when you come to the home page of the my account you have details and billing address so these are just standard you know name date of birth and then you've got all your billing address and they have the option to sign into marketing here as well we have order history, it just has order number, day order, the name and order total of the previous orders that they've done and their payment methods. They have safe preferences, so this is for website accessibility and their marketing choices. So thinking back to the website on the checkout, it gave you the option to do discount codes. So how the user would get them is through refer a friend so essentially they would copy this link either share it by email by instagram by name and if the other users were to click on it and sign up it would basically give them a referral so for example if 14 of the link those links were sent 11 of them had interactions and three of them became successful so out of three of those 14 people they received a referral which gave them a discount code log out and then go to updates this just has the typical updates so COVID-19 stay green scheme and artist updates as well and then oh, we have contact us and again that's just submitted as a form as opposed to phone numbers because when we come to the app that's where the user will be given the phone numbers so going back onto the home page the buy tickets just takes you straight to the ticket page as it does on the menu as well so the view schedule takes you to this here so the schedule will appear the exact same on the um, app as well so you have friday saturday sunday it gives you the information of what stage they're performing at and the times of it as well and images as well and that is everything